Hi everyone, Oli here from Adventure Base. Uh, I'm going to run through a Mont Blanc video with you now. Um, and we just want to show you a kind of a behind the scenes of the of the trip. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this is the starting point uh, in Bellevue, we're just walking where the train would usually go. Uh, this is early season, so the train wasn't running uh, on this particular trip, but as you can see, you get into some pretty amazing views almost almost straight away. Oh, really? You come up here? Yeah, it's so nice. You go up, like, you see that rocket? If you see any bombs. So this is the train line where you'd you'd normally take the train up to the Niedegg, um, but on this trip the train wasn't running. This was early June, so there was still quite a lot of uh, snow on the train track. <laughs> so. Here we're approaching the Niedegg train stop. Uh, you, you can see here how much snow there is uh, where the train would pull in. So um, yeah, it adds about an hour, extra hour of hiking from the Bellevue, so it's not too bad. Here showing you the next section. Uh, hiking up to the Tetris hut. You can see the terrain has changed a little bit. Uh, it's a bit, it's quite rocky, uh, still some snow on the ground. Um, we're not wearing crampons or harness, we're using a rope at this stage um, because it's still a fairly mellow trail. You can see the Tetris uh, refuge just there on the right, and up there is the Gute hut on the top of that ridge. So this is the first hut on the climb. Uh, this is where you typically stay. Um, we're just going to do a quick walk through, show you inside. So this is where you would uh, store your boots and your crampons and harness, helmet and ice axe, all the hardware is kept in this sort of locker room. And then this is the dining area, so you'll have uh, dinner in here and breakfast as well. It's also kind of a relax relaxation area for you to sit down and and you know chat with the rest of your team and your guide about what's to come okay we're going to show you a dorm room so everybody sleeps in the same kind of style rooms in these mountain huts they're all pretty similar uh, they typically look like this so it's fairly cozy um, but remember you're you're only there for a short period of time. Okay, so after the Tet Rousse, we head towards the Goute, and that means the crux of the route, the Grand Couloir. So let's move on to that now. So at this point, you become roped up with guide. Um, the guide here, Pablo, as you can see, is keeping 
uh, he's keeping Charlie very close. Um, it's kind of it's called short roping the, the technique, um, and we all have crampons on our feet and our ice axe in our hand at this stage. So they're just crossing the ground cooler right here. Um, it's important to keep moving and, and listen to what your guide tells you at this point. Um, it's not the kind of place you want to hang around too long. So it's definitely a focus moment. So once you've crossed the Grand Couloir, you start to scramble up the ridge towards the Gute Hut. And that looks like this. So you can see there Pablo the guide continuing with the short roping technique. Um, it's fairly technical, you can see here using your hands. There's a few um, there's a few things to help you get up there. There's a couple of like metal wires and stuff like that, a couple of handholds and footholds. And then this is us reaching the top. This is actually the old Gute hut, which is still there. Um, and this signals the end of the scramble and kind of the end of the lower section of the route. Um, and then we will turn the corner here and we'll see the new Gute hut just around the corner there. There it is, top right of the screen, big sort of space dome. Oh, it's so happy. Yes. Okay, so we'll show you inside the Gute hut now. So again, this is kind of the boot room, kind of locker room where you'd store your boots and hardware. You can pick up a pair of Crocs to wear inside. The, the refuge. And this here is the dining room. So similar setup to Tet Roos. Gute is a bit nicer, I think. It's a bit more modern. Um, the views are incredible out the window. And yeah, this is this is where you'd have dinner and, and breakfast the following morning. Up to the dorm rooms, this is what they look like. Let's go inside. So again, it's a dormitory style uh, setup. And typically one on the top, one on the bottom, a little bit more space in the in the Gute hut and the terrace. And this is the view. Amazing. Right, summit day. Uh, so here we are back in the boot room. It's early doors, it's pitch black outside, everything's a bit blurry, uh, and we're just wandering out here into the night sky. Probably a lot of nerves slash excitement at this stage, setting off into the night. You can see the head torches there up ahead, um, and uh, yeah, it's quite a special, quite a special moment. This. It's gonna be the cold hour. Okay. That means it's gonna be super cold. Okay. You know what? When the sun goes out. It's going to be super cold. So, so here we are at the Valo uh, Emergency Shelter at about 4,400 metres, a little bit more, I think. Um, 
this is kind of a place where you can just stop and reassess and go through the final plan uh, and here you can see the final sort of ridge line up to up to the summit yeah up to this uh, uh, flat part like you call yeah and then a ridge to the summit yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, yeah, sunrise at this stage is just is just amazing. Um, does get a little bit steeper here, so you can see we're again very close to each other. Um, it's not super technical, but it's definitely time to focus again, um, especially as you're also gaining altitude at this point. And here we are on the final summit ridge. Uh, sun's up now. Big smiles. That was YouTube. Oh, my. Yeah. yeah. Well, Nana. Come on. Hey. Oh, nice. boys. Wow. Woohoo. So worth it. Well done, yeah, Ivan. Well done, Kelly. Well done, boys. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And that's it. So, um, Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it useful. Um, get in touch with us if you have any questions. And uh, if we can help at all, we'll, we'll do so. And, yeah, we uh, hope to see you soon.